Now, I'm about to go on another little trip, and one of the big things that I've sort of dreamed about doing the whole time in the van is to have a little table here, just off of my bed frame, that I can sit and edit videos on my laptop. Plug it into my handy inverter here. And so, that's what I'm gonna be working on. Um, I have to leave in like four hours, so... It's gonna be a little bit makeshift, and what I have gone out and done is quickly, roughly scramble together this, which is the same material I use for here. It was just an offcut, but it's roughly the size I want. Eventually, I wanna get a much nicer bit of timber to have as my table, but I just wanted to see if this worked, and I don't wanna go buy a nice bit of wood and then have it just wasted if I decide to change my design. I'm thinking about using chains, although my worry is that on the metal, that it might just rattle the whole time I'm driving. The other options I have seen include things like when the table's out, having like a little leg kickstand that comes out and goes on the floor. But just for how long the table is and where I want it to sit, I don't know how practical that's gonna be for my build. Other thing I've considered is maybe have a kick out and then have a kickstand that goes down and then sits on the highest point here on the wheel well. If the chains idea doesn't work, that's probably where I'm gonna be swinging next. But for now, I'm just gonna fix this in, see what we can make work and sort of just play with it. Time to go. I've cut a little support beam, just at the height that felt most comfortable for me when I put the table on my legs. And I've used this as a marker for the height that I'm gonna want the hinges at. And now I'm gonna support one side with this while I hold the other side and try to put the hinges in. And that means that also, once I've got both sides of the hinges on, until I get the um, chains on top to support it, I can chuck this in the middle and have it support the table weight down. Uh, that should be good. Because I'm being lazy and not measuring. To get the right spacing there, I'm just gonna put this back on, fix it off on one side, and then I'll drill it in straight off from the board. Oh, one screw in just so I can start the camera up again. Alrighty, I don't think that's going anywhere. Now I'm just gonna get this other side in and we'll be all happy days. I am just gonna get a level just to get this the best height possible. I'm not focusing on this one, but this one up here that's giving me so I'll fix it off now, I reckon. worked. For a prototype, that's not too bad. So to put the chain in, I'm just going to drill in about 100 mil back and fix it directly above into the panel with the screws I've used in there the same. It's not a big table and there will never be too much weight on it, so I think this method should be fine. I decided to go with 70 mil in, and I'm just going to be drilling right in the middle. Do the same on the other side. So I think just for the sake of symmetry and getting the chains looking as even as possible, I'm just going to go directly in line from the end, straight up there, right below that line there. And that also gives me a consistent point on both sides so the chains will hopefully look parallel to one another. So now with that done, I'm just gonna grab my chain lengths and work out to what length I need it for it to be upright. All right, so I'm gonna cut where my thumb is and then I'll come back and put it in. That's already holding. A fair bit of weight looks like it'll be supported. Really happy with that. Looks relatively level, so that's a win. Now, the one thing that's instantly like, glaringly obvious is that this chain is ever so slightly tighter than this one. So just to shorten it a tiny bit, because it doesn't need to be a whole length, I'm just gonna twist this chain around a few times. So that's one, two, two. I've only twisted it twice. We'll see if this works a bit better. Bang! That is a really simple way to tighten the chain. Look at that. So now instead of one being tight, one being loose, they're both coming down together. So there we go. That's my makeshift table. And it's the perfect height for me. I don't know how well we'll be able to see this. This is my room to crawl in there. And I can be sitting here on my laptop. Doodly doodly doo. For my ergonomics, 
it could be ever so slightly lower because I want my arms about there instead of here. But because it's such a tight space and it's going to require a bit of crawling in and out, I'm happy with this height. So now how I plan on shutting this table, I've gone out and bought a little cabin hook in the black to match my theme. And then as the table closes, I'm going to have a little notch for the hook there and then the hook's just going to slide down and lock in. So I fixed it off a bit lower here and now when the table pops up, flick that up and lock it in there. Now that is not going to go anywhere. So that's my little morning project for the day and there you have it, little makeshift table. Uh, basically the only thing I'm going to change about this is to get nicer timber and I'm just gonna be replacing the wood with something a bit nicer than the particle board.